This is Sarah. I'm in the kitchen, not cooking. I just took these off the ceiling. They are very, very hot peppers that I grew last summer. And I'm going to be taking them off the stems today, putting them in a blender, grinding them up. And then I'll put them in little things like this, little shaker bottles. And they'll go on a lot of my cooking. They also are great on pizza tops. I'm messing with hot peppers today, and I'll tell you why. I'm planting a lot of them this year. I've been reading and studying a lot about natural antibiotics. I've been doing it for years. So we use them. I try to learn how to use an, a natural antibiotic, and then I try to learn how to grow it. And then we use it. We incorporate it into our daily food and cooking and prep and all of that. Now, I have so far planted from Baker's Creek some of all of these. Now, nobody's going to do this kind of extreme. I, I do tend to be a tad in extreme. But I want to find out what they taste like, how heat hot they are. Some of them will be ground up and even made into capsules. Yeah, I know, I told you, extreme. But if you're interested in prevention, then you need to learn about peppers, hot, hot peppers. I think the three most important kinds to plant, if you're new to this, are cayennes. I get all these from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seed. The chocolate habanero and the Thai red chilies. These are the hottest peppers I know about, and I've grown them for years. They work for me. We'll dry them, grow them. They're pretty. They're ornamental in the garden. They're pretty. And then I'll cut big bunches of them and hang them, and they're decorative. And then when I want them, I'll pluck them down. Many of them may be dried and converted into shakers, other things. I've learned to cook with the heat. If I don't want to swallow the heat, then by doing the capsules, I don't get the hot, hot. Okay, this is just one of the things that we're growing that's a natural antibiotic. The other one, and probably most favorite, is the garlic. We grow lots of garlic. And this year, because of all the publicity and about all these virus and sickness and stuff, we're going to grow extra garlic. We grow medicinal grade garlic, which is the most potent. I also cook with it. We eat a lot of it. We roast a lot of it. It's a preventative. And I've learned too, it's easier to prevent disease than it is to treat it. Anyway, those are just two of the things that I'm gonna grow that are natural antibiotics. They're easy to grow. If you don't want to grow them, find somebody who is. Ask questions. They might be able to sell you some plants or some hot peppers right out of the garden. Just saying, this is a good idea. Alrighty then. Have a good day.